sent me to Mozilla, it's my crime, as I told a dirty slavery dictator. That he is a dictator, and Uganda is a tyrant, and I wish his mother's vagina had squeezed him out. I'll show you right. <laughs> I am a city. Right? My great grandmother was a city. I deployed a city's vagina. She's dead. It's a metaphor. Like we are from I can't help myself. that is a weapon yes. of dictatorship destruction. I intend to destroy the dictator. Yes. Put that on the record. I would like to embolden young people. You say that I am giving them poison instead of food, giving them stone instead of bread. Our youths must learn to use their voices and speak whatever words they have to speak. Right? How do we teach young people in Uganda to remain silent, Your Honor? How? How? How do we punish those who speak for speaking? One dead vagina? A dead vagina is dead. It's rotten, period. It can't be smelly. It can't be itchy. That was a tool of defiance. <laughs> chooses to silence us. I spoke out using the internet. The internet must be protected. The public media has been silenced. Right? The public media are silent. How many of us can afford OTT? Right? And so I use a weapon 
that I pay for, it's free of charge, and I will not allow the dictatorship to tell me what words to say to the dictatorship. I am not. If it is a dirty vagina that gets the attention of all in the dictatorship, emane unya unya jakola. that you're lenient with me. Why be lenient? <laughs> I don't beg for forgiveness. I don't beg for lenience. I will survive. I'm a Ugandan who has been raised up under the dictatorship. I know what dictatorships are. I have survived thus far. I can go to prison. I wish the prisons had clean toilets for women. Our toilets get full. Yes. Every three months, we bathe over shit. Right? I wish you could send me to a prison that caters for the needs of women prisoners. They're asking for custody. Incarcerate me, I can do prison time. If speaking truth to power is important, send me to a prison that's clean. Facilitate the prisons to take care of prisoners. Yeah? Just take, we, we get UTIs all the time. Send us to facilities that are not just punishing us because we spoke against a dictatorship. Do something for the prisons as well. Can you have a court order for the prison? Take me as into a prison that takes care of the uteruses and the tubes and the vaginas of women who are incarcerated. <laughs> I mean, the bathroom in ward two where I sleep, that bathroom has been blocked the whole week. We, 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 we literally bathe of a shit. We bathe in the shit house. So think about the prisons you're sending women to. I'm not begging you not to send me there. But can something be done about the dirty toilets, the blocked toilets every three months in Luzilla Women Prison? Can something be done about the UTI? There is no medicine in our prison facility. We have a sick there with staff and no medicine. And so women get urinary tract infections. Can we do something about the prison services that you send us to, please? Mama, mama. Can we do about the system of education that I invest? Send me to prison, but can you also do something about the prison facilities, especially for women? Can you do something about the toilet downstairs? I have been sitting on a pad the whole day. I have nowhere to put my dirty pad. There's no bucket for women downstairs. Can you do something about the facilities? The facilities provided for women suspects when they're on trial? I don't care going back to New Zealand women prison. If you find me guilty of immorality, I'm an immoral person, I'm an immoral woman. Fine. And so in terms of speaking back to Timothy and uh, uh, I forget her name. Dennis. Hadjet. Hadjet is my sister. You have to do your job. I wish you had found me guilty of offending. Right? I wish you had found me guilty of both cyber harassment and offending a dictator. Protecting the rights of a dictator within a dictatorship is not permissible, not for those of us who have a conscience and children to raise. We have to speak truth to power. And so I want to speak to you lastly because I understand you found a lot of my um, performances very rude and that was not intentional. 
The only thing I can ask for is that you forgive anything that could have seemed to you improper and specifically targeted at you. It was not my intention. It was not the intention of my defense counsel because I never at one time came here to do litigation, to get a fair trial, to do any of that stuff. For me, it was never a legal battle. It was always political. Yes, and in doctor. terms of the political merits of this case, I won by far. And so, Your Honor, with all of respect, I hope you're able to forgive my conduct that seemed rude. My silence was performance. My rudeness was performance. My absences were performances. How does one speak truth to power? When I boycotted court, it was intentional. A woman has had a miscarriage. You deny her an order. You know, the prison officials are not going to give me medical treatment without an order. I had a miscarriage. When I boycotted court, it was a political action. What do the poor do in such circumstances? As just a suspect, a prisoner in your court, I had no power. Right? And so for me, do what you have to do. You have a job to protect and a career to build. I don't care. Do that. I have built my own. Right? Likewise, I will take neither offense nor I hold nothing against you. I just want to thank you so much for the time, for the patience. And I think for the, you, you've been stoic, you've been strong, you've taken it all. I'm sure you're not recording any of this anymore. Um, but just to say thank you so much for the platform, because not very often do women protesters, women dissidents get given such an opportunity. And I think lastly for me just to say to my Ugandan comrades, the regime has to go. I mean, Ugandans, let's be serious. Yeah. Yes. Let's be serious. I don't know what it's going to take, but please do it. Yes. I can't do anything from Luzia. I am screaming from Luzia Women Prison right now. I can't do anything from Luzia Women Prison right now. I can't do anything from Luzia Women Prison right now. She passed it to you. She Can I ask for one last minute to address opposition members who are here? Your no. order. No. No. Well, just, just one thing. Um, I would like written uh, copies of your ruling, your judgment here, yeah, this is the last one, your judgment, because I don't know how I will be able to process it, um, particularly if you also do the sentencing today. I would like to read, I don't know when I can get a copy of the judgment, I'd like to have that so that I can process what has been happening in terms of the, I mean I find you, I feel sorry for you. Yeah, me too, me too. I feel sorry for judges and magistrates and judicial officers because how do you, how can you be just in a just system, it's a dictatorship, how, how do you even do rule of law stuff, you're playing a game and we all know it. But what I'm saying is because I don't know when I'll ever, ever be able to speak to you from prison, especially when you sentence me, I'd like to ask for a copy of your judgment. Which are the five? I could go to prison and die. I'm a very realistic person. Um, are you saying that when I come on the 30th of August, I can then get a copy of the judgment? Is that a promise? Is that what you're saying to me? Because I may want to go to Court of Appeal, that's another platform for me. I may want to go to High Court, I may want to appeal against whatever sentence you have. So I'd like a copy of your written, uh, the final, what do you call it? The standard of the judgment. So I judgment you about it at death. I'm sorry to say to me, I'll come on the 30th of August. That's too late because I have 14 days from the day of your sentencing to, to tender in my notice of appeal. Yes. And so you asked, is it my final word? Um, just about to Okay. Or it's too soon in that case. I'm in my period. Can I can I can I give a lot of time? 
I need to I need to put stuff in Mozilla Women Prison. Um, and so bringing me back tomorrow is not good enough for sentencing. I'd like a longer stay if that's possible. Unfortunately, it's not possible. As I said, the toilets in Mozilla Women Prison. The bathroom in my toilet needs work. Are you going to do something for us? Can you get for us walk to the bathroom open? It's locked. Can you have an order? I have to bathe over shit. Can, if you want to bring me back tomorrow, can you do something about our bathroom in Ward 2 of the women prison, please? Please? Otherwise, can I have a longer adjournment, please? I have hands. Don't send me back to the dirty bathroom. It is locked. The bathroom in Ward 2, Luzila Women no, Prison, no, is locked. Can you do something for us? Can you do something about the bathroom I'm going to use tonight? Or you can't even do that? If you can't do that, then I'm not coming tomorrow. I mean, can you do something about, can you order them to open the bathroom of Ward 2, Luzila Women Prison, so I don't bathe over shit? They are here. They just take me as escorts. They won't go to the bathroom. I'm going to bed. My bathroom is locked. Just been locked for a week. They will. You will not do anything. Do something for me. Give me one yes. Tell them to open the bathroom. They will listen to you. Can I do something about a bathroom? Give time. 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 Give time.